Exactly. First guy in PGA Tour history to average over 310 and over 60% fairways hit. You know, distance and accuracy together, which you've never been that. You've always right, been the sure. long guy, but not the accurate guy. So the driving distance and to get it over 60, 60% for the fairways is pretty uh, unheard of. Yeah, right? yeah that's so, not bad, I guess, if you like bad. that. I mean, obviously it's my swing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and a little then, bit of technology. And right? a little bit of technology. Yeah. <laughs> but no, obviously it's the driver that's produced that. The, the technology into it has made me uh, that much better as a player and that much more uh, accurate off the team. Well, you got guys that are pretty hard on criticism on the golf channel saying you're the best driver in the world. That, I mean, that's nice. I pay well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get in the card. <laughs> we know that it works because we've got scientific fact and wind tunnels, but I mean, I've seen a lot of guys that I fit on tour that the ball definitely goes farther. Billy Horschel, for example, the guy. I mean, what have you seen? The speed humps, as I like to call them, the <laughs> turbulators. It is increase the speed. Um, yeah. I think the first time I ever tested it, what was it? It was like 2.2 miles an hour faster. Yeah, it was. Um, and that was after like 70 balls. So I was stretched out completely, trying both drivers. Yeah. I tried as hard as I possibly could to get the, the G25 to match it. I couldn't because of the, the turbulators, the speed yeah. humps. Yeah. But also the distance. The distance is there. I think I averaged just under 315 last year. Yeah. So obviously the, uh, the driver, the technology is still keeping me like some of these young guys. You're welcome.